back. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be interested in this video but I just needed something to do. So I actually made this video yesterday but everything that could go wrong did go wrong. I couldn't remember the names of my tools, the doorbell kept going off, I had interruptions from a plumber of all things. <laughs> anyway, just in case you're interested, this is just a video of, of all the things that I find necessary in my craft and they're not all of the tools I have by any means because I have so much. I have absolutely cupboards and drawers absolutely full. But these are just the things that I use or find necessary in my crafting. Now this start off with this because it's just right there. This is my stamping up grid paper. It's really good because it keeps your work surface clean. You can use it for testing out colours. You can you can put ink on it, you can you can measure with it, you can write lists. You can write reminders and things, measurements of things that you're crafting. It's, it's just really good. You've got notes and everything there as well. The only thing I wish could be different is I wish I had a left-handed version. I have searched for it and I couldn't find it because I have to keep turning this round and writing and then turning it back again. So it's just a bit inconvenient. But apart from that, it's great. I use, Every single day I use this for crafting. Um, get the big things out of the way first cutting mats. Cannot do without cutting mats because my crafting invol involves a lot of... I don't have my residues here. <coughs> the one thing I didn't get out. Um, my crafting involves a lot of cutting either with scissors or a knife. So if you're cutting, this is brilliant. You can't do without a cutting mat really if you want to preserve your desk. Um, because these knives are really, really sharp. So a cutting mat to me is absolutely inval invaluable. So I have two of those. I have one just for when I'm... I have this one when I'm working on much larger projects and I need to keep it out. But this one's kept away most of the time. I usually just use this. Just a smaller one. It does the job for the most part. What else do I have? Just put that out of the way. <coughs> oh. You may not think that this is necessary. It's a stamping platform. It's my Sizzix stamping platform. When I am stamping cards and sentiments, the ink I use, I've got a lot of cheap ink from um, Itimu, sort of when I was first starting out. And the ink itself, it's, it's okay, you know, it's fine, it, it does the job. But I found when I was printing sentiments or flowers, anything like that, um, I did find that if you missed a bit and you tried to re-stamp it you would end up with a smudge or you'd end up out of alignment and I would end up having to throw that project away. So when I've got this you can see that you can see that it's been well used. So you just put your your card on there whatever you're using you put your put your stamp on the inside of here it just sticks to it and then you put your ink on the stamp and then you push it down onto the card and then if you find you've missed a bit you can just re-stamp it and just keep doing that until you've got the, the whatever you desire on your on your card so this this has saved me a lot of money and i just it was worth the money sometimes you buy things and they are not worth the money <laughs> but this has definitely been worth the money i thoroughly recommend that if you can afford it now most admit sizzix things any branded crafting items are not going to be cheap but I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in that because it is it has saved me so much money. Um, this, these as well, um, little scales. You might wonder, well, what on earth do you need scales for? If you are making products to sell, which I do, then this is fantastic for trying to work out your postage. Um, it, you can have it in. Yeah, you can have it in kilograms or you can have it in pounds and it's so good because you can weigh everything and then it's easy, it's so much easier to work out your postage costs for that. So that is something I definitely couldn't do without. What else do we have? Right, we'll, we'll go with the sticky stuff for now. Um, I have several different types of glue but these are the two that I use the most. This is my all-round glue. I use this, where are you? I use this all the time. Can you see that? My Cosmic Shimmer Glue. 
you can see it's very grubby because I use this constantly. Um, this one is just amazing. Can you see that? That is amazing for making greeting cards because the thing I don't like about it first is that it has quite a strong toxic smell. Um, so I do prefer to sit in a ventilated room when I'm using it. But when you make cards, you're often layering a lot of card on top of each other. And when you do that with normal glue, sometimes you get a bit of warping and a bit of wrinkling on the card and it shows through and it doesn't look very nice. You don't get that with this. It is absolute. I won't use anything else now for making cards because I just think it's absolutely brilliant. You don't get any warping or anything like that. It's just if you, if you can get past the smell. Um, what other sticky stuff? Oh yes, I have lots of different widths of this, a double-sided um, sticky tape. Absolutely brilliant, couldn't do without that either. Um, on the same vein, the reason I'm mentioning this now, this is my Stampin' Up! Take Your Pick tool. So this is some cheap tape that I got from Timu, of course, I get everything from Timu, and you put it down and you lay it down like that and then you peel off the backing but it's really difficult to get the backing off this tape and I have so what this does it's got a little point with a little tiny hook on the end and that's brilliant for picking up the backing off the tape couldn't do couldn't do with this either and um, that end has got like a little sticky bit on so when you've got when you're using decorations and your little gems you can pick them up and you can move them about and, re and place them where you want that's really good but this is brilliant and um, for projects that don't require a heavy glue um, envelopes and this is ideal for envelopes and things like that because it holds just enough stick but there are there are many different widths it's like tiny thin ones and like big wide ones that you can get depending on what you're using it for so I generally tend to use these two together and more sticky stuff here we go um, these are dimensionals and foam pads if you're making a card or another project with de decorations on these can just lift the decorations up a little bit give them a little bit of dimension i use these all the time can't do without them. i do have some larger foam pads for larger projects or larger decorations oh and this this gives me grief sometimes but i really couldn't do without it it's not the best i've used it's not a really good make and sometimes they break and but I bought a big box full of them so I'm just going to have to keep using them <laughs> so these but these are good as well for envelopes um, you, you just run it down like that and you can um, stick your envelope flaps down very easily with it it's good for putting decorations on your cards if you haven't got if you haven't got any glue like this it's good for just placing down your decorations but the only thing with this glue you get a lot of maneuverability so if you place down your card stock on your card or a decoration on your card and it's not exactly in the right place you can maneuver it around a bit with this you've more or less got to get it right first time but it's, it's still something i use every day can't really do without that either and on the same vein this has saved so many projects as well this is glue eraser it's absolutely fantastic you get a bit of glue on some paper or cardstock and you can just rub it off like that and it's just literally saved a lot of projects particularly cards and envelopes where i've made a right mess <laughs> with glue and it's just so as long as you don't rub too hard and go through the paper then it's just it's well worth it i cannot literally cannot do without this in my collection uh, one more sticky thing this is the low tack tape my scotch low tack tape um, low tack tape is brilliant because obviously as the name suggests it's not very sticky so when I'm using my dies on the, put, put my die on a cardboard piece of cardboard and put that on it stops the dies from moving about and when you take it off it doesn't tear the cardboard either it's it's really good stuff um, <laughs> when I was making the video yesterday I could not for the life of me think of what you call this so anyway I had a look and apparently it's called a scraper when I make stickers I have a cutter machine and I make a lot of stickers but I like to laminate them but you can't put a sticker sheet through a laminator I mean there are ways around it but because it laminates both sides so what I use are laminator sheets and these are brilliant this is brilliant for pushing the laminator sheet onto the um, the sticker sheets 
so you, you can have lamination on them. I know there are ways around it with a laminator, um, but this is just, it's, it's easier and it's brilliant. So yeah, that's another must have when I'm doing the stickers. This, you might, you'll have seen this on my other videos because I use this every single day. It's my crafter's companion um, bone folder. Great, great for flattening down your edges and, and things like that. And sometimes when you've got glue on card, it gets the glue well uh, positioned and well stuck there. It's, it's really good. Um, I use this. Um, I actually don't use this a lot, but I do have it as an essential because obviously you do need a ruler. Um, this is great actually if you use chipboard, you can lay it against your chipboard and you, if you've got a, a craft knife you can just you know cut your craft knife along the metal ruler. Use a metal ruler for cutting with a craft knife. I made the mistake, I used to have a plastic ruler and I made the mistake of trying to cut chipboard with it. Not only did I cut through the ruler, I cut through my finger as well. But that's a story for another day. Um, of course, these are absolute essentials for any crafter as scissors. Oh, you can see I've got some glue on there. So, small part for doing your more intricate work and larger part for larger scissors, pair, sorry, not part. A larger pair for cutting larger pieces of, of cardboard and things like that. They're absolutely essential as well. Um, this is what I use every day because that metal thing's a bit bulky. But I use this every day um, on, just for measuring obviously um, but that's great because it's really small and it, it tucks away nicely so you can keep it away tidily um oh yeah this because i am <clears throat> of a certain age i won't go into that um it's a magnifying glass but it also has two different light settings as well this is absolutely brilliant uh, honestly on a night time uh, even with the big light on in the craft room because the light bulb is behind me I still get a lot of shadow when I'm working, so this is this is great, um, just for making sure that I'm getting things right. You can't do without that either. Um, spray bottles, um, spray bottles to me are essential. This one has water in. It's great for cleaning up ink mess and other things because ink the inks I use are water based, and you can clean brushes and you can clean sponges and things quite easily with it. And this isopropyl alcohol. I literally cannot do without this because it's great for cleaning your scissors. You can clean glue off even your desk or off whatever you're using. The only thing is, if you use it to clean something like this, which I did once, it, it is going to take off the dye. So I wouldn't use it on this side. I'd use it on that side because it gets this gets very gluey. So I use it to clean that side quite often, but this side, no. <laughs> I'll just try and clean it in other ways because that does take that off. But this is an absolute must. It's fairly cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a link if you like for the. You get a big bottle. This isn't the bottle that you get. That you get a big bottle, but it's handy to put it in a spray bottle. It's it's great for cleaning up, like I say, glue and other things like that. Absolutely essential. I think that is it for my necessities. I can't think of anything else offhand. Oh, ink as well. Yes, obviously inks are essential but I'm putting that in your ink and your cardstock and your paper packs I haven't really shown or listed here because they're obviously essential for every crafter anyway but these things that I've shown you are things that I use most days and I can't really do without them for my crafting work because they're all just essential to me anyway I mean you might have different essentials I would be really interested to know so if you could leave a comment telling me what you think is essential what I've listed that you use or you don't use or you don't think are necessary I'd be really interested in your comments I'd also be very grateful if you could <clears throat> like and share this video if in your subscription would be most welcome because it would really help this brand new channel I hope this video has been, I mean it's just been a nonsense video really, but I hope it's going to be useful to somebody and if you've stuck with me this long, thank you, I really do appreciate it. So thank you once again and I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye now.